I'll do another original. What the heck? Yeah. I broke her heart and I made her cry. I heard her so bad she said goodbye for so long. There's a lot of people that you played with out here, and I'm, I'm going to come back up here because I want to talk to you a little bit. But there's there's even a bass player out here, Daryl, and we have in the house Darryl tonight. Lee. We have Danny D and Daryl Lee. Right on. I had the pleasure of playing with yeah, them. Yeah, the Rod Stewart tribute band. They've been on the Chizzy Cam show before, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome musicians there. So, yeah. Bobby, um, that last song that you did, that had a lot of passion in it, bro. What yeah. was that song about? That was about this crazy girl, Carrie, I used to date. <laughs> Often musicians put their, their feelings into songs. You didn't write that song, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I wrote it. Yeah, see. <laughs> so what we were hearing is, in the audience, the buzz was, wow, he's really good, that guy. Wow. Well, thank you, audience. Now, um, Bobby, when you play, you played with a lot of people. Dave Hamilton, I know of, Tasha Owens. Give me some other names that you played with. Uh, Maria Wee, Carol Lee. Okay. Chris St. Ange. Okay. I had the pleasure of playing with Danny D just Thursday. Wow. What were you um, doing with Danny D? Well, he came up to my jam. <laughs> and he got up and he actually performed with you. Oh, yeah. We played for a good hour. It was awesome. That's fantastic. <laughs> that uh, Saturday, Daryl Lee and I played a thing called Zombie Fest. Yeah, that was the Halloween. Throws our butts off, didn't we, Daryl? Yeah. <laughs> It was outside, heated tent. Yeah, right. So tell me what you know. What got you? You know, we had talked to you on a previous show. What 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 got you into the music scene? What what really inspired you the most to pick up a guitar and start singing? I started playing with a group called the Offenders when I was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> a little did I know I'd become an offender. No. <laughs> so you're, um, you're... I started playing with them out, out like in public. Um, then I did, a, I played a lot at the attic in Hamtramck, at Hamtramck and the soup kitchen. I played a lot in Detroit there. Um, I played with cats like Little Mac Collins, the Butler Twins, who are all gone now, unfortunately. God rest their souls, you know. Um, in fact, that's where I met Daryl, was at, at the attic in Hamtramck like 20-some years ago. And it's, you know, it's another it's another story in that Detroit musicians all work together. They know each other. They do fundraisers together. They, they work together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all sure. the time. Yeah, I, found that, family. I, I found that family. Yeah, I found this is a close-knit family. It when, is. When I did that Detroit Rock and Fashion, um, the a virtual art exhibit with right. artists who are also musicians or fashion models. It's like the music family is really close-knit. And I got to kind of like be in with them for a while. It was right. really cool. And people get, you know, they, they go around to different fundraisers. They go around to different festivals in the area. And a lot of the audience members that come out to these, the oh, Bobby Bax Black's playing tonight with Tasha Owens, you know, and we get excited about that because you're such great local musicians and you give so generously all the time. In fact, I would Thank say you. that safely to say that you give more than you actually receive because I know that you don't get paid for your gigs as much as you do charity work. So. We get a lot out of that, though. Yeah, you yeah. Know. Play with Alex, you know, yeah. I mean, doing stuff like that for people that, people that really need our help, and, you know, it, I'm there. It was really special when you and Tasha played together on, that was, was. the first show, wasn't it? Yeah, and in fact, we had rave reviews, um, I looked today on that, and we still have had over 200 people view that particular show live. Cool. And I, the feedback after that night about Tasha's voice and about your playing and about even some of your background. Um, she is awesome. Yeah, you guys work really well together. And that's the thing, too. I mean, there's so many bands that work with each other, like Daryl Lee working with, with Bobby Black and, and Bobby Black, you know, Black working with... You know, even having Dar Danny D come up on stage well, with you awesome. in the local area, you never know what you're going to see. Right. But a lot of these people are connected through some of the charitable work that they do. And so that's, that's, that's what's, what's kind of great about I mean, this cafe, too, Right. is uh, I've noticed, like, just, you know, like, there's a lot of musicians in the audience now. Oh, yeah. And, and, and you guys just kind of sometimes get up and just start jamming together. Yeah. And uh, I think that's pretty special, you know, just that random, yeah, let's get together and jam. I mean, well, we have a, we have a we're very... We're going to try to do that tonight. Let's do uh, that, yeah. We, we'll try, we should close out the show like that. We could do that. Yeah, um, I think we we've, got, we've got something if very can, special. If we can do some, you know, arm bending and... Some finagling. Finagling. We'll, we'll try to make that happen. Bleeding. But that's, you know, you never know what to expect on U Detroit Cafe here. And, you know, the, the best part is that these musicians came out tonight... These, these pastors drove all this way, these, these spiritual leaders, these, these folks that are involved in our show, um, and Erica McManus that played earlier, and they're doing this free, and they're doing this to show how they're working with charities, to explain to the public how they can be involved in charities, and, and to see someone like Bobby Black up here just playing his heart out, strumming his guitar, singing, and knowing that that's what he does, he takes that gift and he uses it to help people, you know, we all have something, like Scott Crownover said, we all have a gift inside of us. We all have something that's that's a beautiful artwork of some sort that we can give and use to help other people. So, Bobby, you did that tonight, and, and we really appreciate it. Um, you're a good guy. You're going to stick around and, and do uh, a couple more songs in a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, Bobby's going to stick around. He'll do some more music.